there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs the Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a next five years video. This is the series where we look at my next five year predictions for theme parks across the world. Today's episode resides at Cedar Point. Now this is at the Lake Erie and um, this is going to be brilliant. This, this is located in uh, Ohio in Sandusky and you know this is a world renowned theme park. It's one of the world's leading theme parks um, a load of roller coasters, a massive ride lineup, and opening up the views of the beach as well with the hotel breakers, and you know one of the coasters opening up the area of the beach and giving the beach the whole front look, and uh, you know they've got a water park in there as well. Um, they bought some new land recent in recent years, so they're going to expand on there hopefully in the future. Uh, which is the I think it's the Sawmill Resort they've expanded in. They've bought in, of course, you know. And Cedar Point is obviously owned by Cedar Fair, who owns many other theme parks. They now own the the Schlitterbahn water parks uh, as well in America. So they've expanded the whole chain. And Cedar Point sort of was the sort of the kit. They're sort of the flagship, the the key child of the Cedar Fair chain. And we're going to look at the last ten years of Cedar Point. We're going to look at the next five year predictions from uh, from my perspective. I'm going to share my thoughts on all this as well. So, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, let's take a look back and look at the last 10 years of Cedar Point. So in 2010, the park opened Shoot the Rapids, a water ride, which was great fun for all ages. In 2011, the Windseeker was introduced. Now, the Windseeker is a Starflyer type attraction. It's a swing ride in the sky, and it's a wonderful Cedar Fair ride. A perfect chain ride, like the Sky Screamers off Six Flags. 2012 brought Dinosaurs Alive and also Dragster H2O at Cedar Point at the now Cedar Point Shores Water Park. 2013, however, brought the replacement for the Space Spiral and Disaster Transport attractions, Gatekeeper. The Bulgar and Mabiar wing coaster right on the beachfront. In 2014, they brought in some new attractions in the Gemini Midway along with some other small changes, including the Pipe Scream, which was a nice long uh, disco coaster style ride with a skateboard style uh, car system, and also the Larson Flying Scooters attraction known as the Lake Erie Eagles. In 2015, they refurbished Mantis from a stand up coaster to a flawless coaster by refurbishing and retheming it into Rougarou and also refurbishing Hotel Breakers. In 2016, they brought in the BM dive coaster Valraven on the site of an old theatre. In 2017, they refurbished their water park into Cedar Point Shores. For 2018, they brought in the RMC Rocky Mountain Construction renovation of Mean Streak Steel Vengeance. In 2019, Forbidden Frontier and Adventure Island was introduced, which was a brand new attraction and experience for all ages. And in 2020, we were going to have an investment, but unfortunately, due to the demonic devastation known as COVID, this did not come to be. So that was the last 10 years of Cedar Point. As you could see, very, very coaster dominated in my opinion. A couple of little things here and there, a flat ride, some attractions, uh, some stuff for the water park and a full refurbishment of the water park in 2017. Uh, water ride was in there and you know I think it's very coaster dominated. So all my predictions for Cedar Point now are gonna be a mixed bag of predictions. It won't be very coaster heavy these next five years and uh, you're going to see what my predictions are right now. So let's not waste any time, let's get straight into it and have a look at my next five year predictions for Cedar Point. So we kick off in 2021 and nothing different here really. Snake River Expedition and the continuation of the 150th anniversary celebrations that were going to take place in 2020 this year. That will all continue in 2021. Snake River Expedition, the brand new uh, boat style ride replacing the old paddle wheel excursion site. Um, that's been pushed back to 2021. They're going to continue the 150th anniversary celebrations in 2021. And it's going to be a continuation of what was to come this year if it wasn't for COVID-19. Uh, so it's going to be a continuation of events and it's going to be the opening of the Snake River Expedition attraction. Moving into 2022 and we're going to see a brand new uh, addition to Cedar Point Shores. Now I think they could refurbish and redevelop Cedar Creek. Now Cedar Creek is their lazy river attraction 
and I reckon they could do an even more detail themed Lazy River attraction in their water park. So I think that could be a nice addition for 2022 while all the groundwork is taking place in the, inside the dry park for the following year. But I think for a Philly year, I think that a nice addition to the water park will keep guests of all ages uh, cool, calm, relaxed, and a refurbished Lazy River to enjoy the sights. In 2023, this is the year of the brand new roller coaster. The Shoot the Shoots ride, Professor Delbert's Frontier Fling, and the antique cars will all close and be replaced. Now, you saw the GCI newsroom update a few, probably a few days ago now, and you know what I'm going to say with this. This is going to be a brand new GCI wooden roller coaster. I think it's absolutely inevitable now, in my opinion. I think put two and two together, you've got to see the point for 2023 with the GCI. Uh, now, what type of GCI? We don't know whether it's an out and back, whether it's kind of like a Woden type uh, GCI uh, at Europe Park, or maybe something like. Uh, the new dueling GCI with the uh, with the the steel supports and the inversion uh, on it. So maybe they could go with the dueling GCI prototype concept that they showed off at IAPA about a year or two ago. Um, so maybe go with that because that's like a very thrilling wooden coaster with an inversion on it. So that'd be nice. Um, but I think overall, I think with the markers that we spotted earlier this year in the anti around the anti cars around that area, uh, and I think if you take out the sky coaster as well as the shoot the shoots as well. All that area would be perfect for a dueling GCI. Absolutely perfect. And you could get some nice overhead elements when you're watching the ride from below. 2024. Now, this one's a big one. Now, I think going into 2023, they're going to remove the Gemini. And I think that they're going to retheme for 2024 Lake Erie Eagles, Monster, and Pipe Screen. They're all going to be rethemed. Gemini is going to be removed and replaced with an expansion of Planet Snoopy. Now, you probably think I'm mad, but I think the whole Gemini Midway is going to get transformed into a Planet Snoopy expansion. And they'll all come together to become Camp Snoopy. Now, we've seen a lot of more recent Camp Snoopies. Planet Snoopy's been transformed into Camp Snoopies. We know Michigan's Adventure's got one planned, obviously delayed from this year to next year. Um, so I'd like to see uh, the Gemini Midway get transformed with Planet Snoopy into Camp Snoopy with some brand new rides and attractions on the site of the Gemini, a rethemed monster, pipe screaming Lake Erie Eagles to fit the Snoopy theme. And I think the whole big kids area where Gemini is, included with the Planet Snoopy and the refurbished Gem Gemini Midway attractions like the Lake Erie Eagles and the pipe scream as well as the monster, would be a decent fit. Maybe even remove the monster. Maybe put in a nice uh, a, a family drop tower. Maybe. Maybe even ri um, rip out the. Uh, I mean, I know they've already got the the, re the rethemed frog hopper, uh, Woodstock's airmail. Uh, maybe they could um, uh, remove that and put in a new kids ride there, and put in a more a, a more thrilling family drop tower, but still a family drop tower, and call that Woodstock's airmail. Make it bigger and better, and put it sort of in the new expansion area so i don't know there's a few things that could do but i think the whole gemini midway gemini removed um bring in you know some new attractions on the gemini site fill the rest of it in and um include the gemini midway attractions into the new camp snoopy with the already existing planet snoopy and the attractions that you would put in the gemini site as well and finally, for 2025, I am thinking they're going to refurbish and redevelop, uh, redevelop the Thunder Canyon attraction. So similar what Knott's Berry Farm did with when they transformed the Bigfoot River Rapids into the Calico River Rapids. I would like to see a Rapids redevelopment. I'd like to see a new theme go in. I'd like to see a completely new look to it. And I'd like to see it look all spanking new. And um, I want to see it looking amazing. I, li I like to see that Cedar Fair theme they start to include in many of their newer attractions uh, and their refurbishments. I'd like to see them do that with Thunder Canyon. I think that would be the prime site for a rapid re redevelopment. I think with, with Carowinds as one being officially retired uh, and seeing what Knott's did with the Calico one, I think that Cedar Point deserves to keep their rapid ride. And I think that if you just retheme it and redevelop it and give it a new fresh look, I think that would be the way forward for this attraction's lifespan. So there we go. That is looking at the next five year predictions for Cedar Point. So of course, let's sum it all up. So you've got uh, a water park attraction, a new uh, boat attraction in the 150th anniversary, anniversary before that. After the Cedar Point Shores redevelopment or attraction addition, 
uh, a new coaster. Then you've got this whole Gemini Midway merged into this new Camp Snoopy with the already existing Planet Snoopy and the removal of Gemini with some new attractions in there. And also the Thunder Canyon redevelopment for 2025. So that's sort of what I'm thinking here. Like I said earlier, it's a mixed bag of things. Water, family, thrill, coaster, park upgrades, entertainment with the 150th anniversary celebrations. And you've got to go to think, 2025 will also be the park's 155th anniversary so they're going to be doing some celebrations in that year again for sure um but there we go so thank you very much guys for watching my next five years of cedar point there's more coming i've already um pre-edited and got ready one from canada's wonderland so that'll be coming as well um in the future weeks and that'll all be ready uh spick spock and looking brand new ready for your viewing pleasure Thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Shell. Coop, living the coast of life. Please hit this channel for 2,000 subscribers and also half a million views. And for now, have a nice day.